What's up guys, Kyle Hunt, Hunt Fitness. Right, here's a little cat. Whoa. Hanging out in the office. This is my new office. All you're seeing is the couch with the nice leopard print blanket. Flat screen TV in the office. Desks, desks over here. My trophies. First place powerlifting trophies. My snapback collection. And so on. Alright, so what I want to talk about today is something I've seen posted about, especially right now with the new movie Southpaw coming out with Jake Gyllenhaal. I don't know how you really pronounce his last name, but I'm guessing that's correct. Um, so, in all the previews and the pictures that's come out, he looks fucking jacked. Jacked out of his mind for this movie. Now, this guy's not really known for being. You know, a muscular actor. It's not like it's Dwayne The Rock Johnson or, um, well, it's like Mark Wahlberg, who's decently built. Jake Gyllenhaal is kind of known for just being like an average-looking guy, and then here he is playing this boxer who's, you know, Jack. So the question immediately comes up. Did, did this guy take steroids to get into, to get ready for this role? And I'm always like the last person that wants to come out and be like, ah, oh, this guy's on steroids, or... Or whatnot, whether it's in the fitness industry, whether it's, you know, actors. However, a lot of the times when you... Actors make huge transformations all the time. Um, I mean, that's part of the, the struggle of their job. I mean, they have to really live their role. Um, who is it? Uh, Christian Bale. I think he... The machinist, where he lost, like, I don't know, 80 pounds or something. He got down to, like, 100 pounds, 115 pounds or something. Basically, starved himself for it. So, actors have been known to do crazy things. A lot of people automatically assume, well, hmm, it's really hard to put on a lot of muscle in a short period of time. And then, a lot of times, after they do their role, they go right back to looking how they were before. So, the, immediately, you would, you would think of steroids. And, and I'm not going to say yes or no on it, because, I, frankly, I don't know. Um, like I said, it, it kind of lends itself to, for you to think that. However, here's a couple points. He probably doesn't train much normally. And now he has access to sick programs, awesome training programs. Probably has a strength and conditioning coach on set with him. Now he's going from not training at all to probably training intensely six days a week. Has a nutrition, nutritionist dialing in his nutrition program. Probably a cook to cook all of his meals. And he's getting paid millions of dollars to look this part. So there's a huge incentive for him to dial everything in, dial in his training dial in his nutrition, and he has all the resources necessary. And he's going to be getting some newbie gains. So you take a guy who doesn't really train that much, and then put him into a six-month intense training camp with all the best facilities and all the best coaches and everything, you know, you know, taken care of. All he has to do is do the work. And you can make some huge progress. So that's one, one uh, explanation for how he could go from what he looked like to, to what he looks like in this movie. Second, now here's the big one. These guys that are making these movies and the pictures that have been leaked and all this stuff, they are very, very good at their job. Same thing with, like, fitness photographers. You can, I mean, there's a, basically what I'm saying is there's a lot that can be done in the actual taking of the pictures and the actual filming of the videos and with the editing and, and, and lighting. They're, they're like masters of lighting, just getting, you know, I mean, you can just take a picture of somebody, just... Right, just you know, tell someone to take their shirt off and take a you know take a quick picture of them, and then set up all the perfect lighting, and have them put position them in the right spot, and then take another picture, and they're going to look like they gained ten pounds of muscle just that alone. So what I'm saying is, I think if you took this guy Jake Gyllenhaal, and outside of and looked at him outside of the, you know the the movie, outside of the pictures that have been leaked, and just an average day on set or something is like like a day in the life behind the scenes, he's not going to look nearly as big as he looks in in the movie, probably. I haven't seen it yet. I do want to go see it. It looks like a sick-ass movie. And uh, he's, he's not going to look like, like that. You know what I'm saying? So the whole perceived playing with low cash, she's down here. Uh, basically, the, the pictures probably are making him look better than, than he even looks. Uh, so those are, those are two main points. So basically, between, like I said initially, all you know, not from going from not training very much to training a lot, 
and having access to the best coaching and the best facilities and your nutrition all, all planned out and made for you. That, combined with the wizardry that they're going to do with the actual filming and pictures and editing and all that, makes it look like it's a more dramatic transformation than what it is. For example, like in the Rocky series, everyone's probably seen Rocky again, it's boxing. Sylvester, Stall Sylvester Stallone's not a big guy. Now, in Rambo and Rocky, especially Rocky 3 and Rocky 4, he looked fucking shredded and huge and aesthetic, and he looked amazing. And in Rocky 3, when he fights Clubber Lang, they say he's like 202 pounds because he was a heavyweight champion. However, in the book, I actually have Sly's book right here. Sly Moves. It's like an autobiography, but it talks about a lot of how he trained for movies and and whatnot. In here, in the book, it says he only weighed like, I think he says he only weighed like 163 pounds. He was like my size, but, you know, shredded and was playing a heavyweight boxer. And everybody who's watched Rocky didn't doubt it. You know, he's, you look, for one, when you're that shredded, he was really lean. You're really, really lean. You look, you know, you look heavier than you really are. But, a lot of it was the wizardry that they used with camera angles and lighting, and they made him look huge. The same thing in Rocky IV with Drago. They made uh, Dolph Lundgren in Rocky IV look like a, a fucking mountain. And he's, I mean, he's a big guy, but he's not nearly as big as the, they were able to, to make him seem in the movie. So that second point with, I think, you know, we, we kind of get caught up in what people look like on screen and... And if you're really good with lighting, it even happens on YouTube, too. You look at, like, you know, the top guys, they're, they are they can make themselves look better. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, that's what you should do. I just don't do it. But that's what you should do. I mean, and on Instagram, too. If you're really good with lighting, it's that half-natty lighting that, like, Matt Ogus talks about. If you get the, just the right lighting, you can you can look amazing. So and just take a, so just imagine a professional, that their, their whole job, they get paid all kinds of money, and their, their, all their job is to, you know, make people look good. And that's same thing with, like, fitness photographers, so. All right, guys, I just want to put this video out there because I, I was thinking about it, and the movie comes out this weekend, and I'm, I want to go see it. Um, I used to go see movies all the time, but then now that we got Lucy, it's a lot harder when you have a kid to to go see movies because you got to have, you know, you want to have my mom to watch or you got to have a babysitter or something, so. But I do want to go check this, out this movie. It looks sick. Uh, and I, I saw people posting on Facebook about, you know, it's like all like the ads, like, oh, here's this huge transformation. They talk about how he's been training like six days a week or whatever in boxing, and, and so he can kind of live the part. I just want to talk about how uh, maybe he made that possible. All right, until next time, guys. Peace. Oh, awesome. Also, let me know in the comments if you like these style videos. If you like me just kind of picking a random topic and discussing it. If you like it, I'll do this more often. All right, guys. Peace.